everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Year Without a Santa Claus. So, The Year Without a Santa Claus, before I review this special, my guest star, The Random Eric, is actually going to be reviewing this special. So, The Random Eric, take it away, and he will also give you the overall plot synopsis. The spotlight is yours, my friend. Thank you, Trinity Tiger Dude, and yes, my name is Eric from the channel The Random Eric, and on my channel I, I do movies and music reviews and just, you know, stuff about, um, RT type stuff, just stuff that I'm really interested in, so if you're interested in checking out my content, the link will be in the description box down below, but enough of that, my, we're gonna be re we're doing a collaboration review of The Year of Fight of Santa Claus, which was released in 1974, and it is about how Santa Claus it has a cold, and he is just too exhausted to do Christmas this year. So he decides to take a holiday. And our factor of this is that no one really cares about Christmas anymore. Kids don't believe in Santa Claus anymore. And they just don't feel the Christmas spirit. So Mrs. Claus goes out on an adventure and um, sets off, uh, tells two Christmas elves, uh, Jingle and Jangle, with uh, a reindeer named Vixen to go off to a town called Southtown, USA to find the Christmas spirit. So the year five Santa Claus is a special that I've always loved. And I haven't seen it in a while, so rewatching it nowadays, there is just something about this special that I never noticed till now, and just how brilliant of a special it is. Because I'm 13 years old, and as I've grown older, the you know the wonder of Christmas and the joy of Christmas has gone away. Because you know finding out Santa Claus is not real. Just, you know, the mystery and excitement isn't there anymore. And that's something that the special really explores when you really think about it. And it handles it very well and just kind of like very tragic. And it, it hits you emotionally hard. Even though this is like a 15 minute special, the emotions work in this special. And it gets you really invested into the story and you really care about like what's going on. So when the emotional moments happen towards the end of the special, it, they hit you hard. And you're like, damn, this is actually really emotionally powerful. And you know, you care about the characters. And I will say, like, it's not the most like suspenseful like story ever. And like you're not like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? It is predictable. But the story is just so good that these minor flaws don't really get in the way. And I just I love this special so much. And everything that I love about this special is Stone Miser and Heat Miser, these characters are fantastic they just oh man their chemistry is there the, and the reason why they don't like each other actually does make a lot of sense and you feel that conflict and you know it gets kind of intense and it, you know they're, they're um the way when they clash you know it can be funny at times and i just i really love these characters so much and their musical numbers are great there's just great characters to watch another factor about this that i really like is mickey rooney i've, I've always loved mickey rooney rest in peace i just thought he was such a great 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 santa claus and this it really shows why he is such a great santa claus because he really brings out the character and the essence of santa claus and how determined he is and just how jolly and just how like sweet and kind that he is I just, ah, oh man, I just, I love Mickey Rooney as Santa Claus. I will say that even though there are some technical flaws, like, sometimes there's some audio syncing issues, like, you know, voice issues, like, the syncing-wise. Um, and I will admit this, stop motion is a bit choppy there and there, and there are some, like, editing flaws or, like, things that just magically appear out of nowhere because technology was limited at the time. I still love this special, and I'm gonna give The Year Fed of Santa Claus a 4.5 out of 5. It has a brilliantly realized concept story, great great characters, and a story that really gets to you emotionally, and I just love this special so much. Thank you again, Tony, for having me on this collaboration review for the Year Fight of Santa Claus. I really appreciate it. And again, I'm Eric from the channel of Random Eric. I talk about movies, music, and all things that kind of interest me. And if you'd like, like to check out my channel, the link is down in the uh, description box. Anyways, big thank you again, Tony, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much to the Random Eric for reviewing The Year Without a Santa Claus. The Year Without Santa Claus is such a wonderful special. There's a lot of great voice talents in the special. Like, that's something to commend when it comes to this special. Like, you got Mickey Rooney as Santa Claus. He perfectly fits Santa Claus very well. You have Shirley Booth, who voices Mrs. Claus in the special. And then you can't also forget about Dick Sean as the voice of Snow Miser. And there's also George S. Irving as Heat Miser. 
There's a lot of talented people voicing these characters, bringing these characters to life, and I thought each of these voice actors have done a great job of really lending their voices to these characters. And there's actually a lot of really good humor with the special to really have you laugh. A lot of really witty humor to keep the special going. But not only is this actually a funny special, but it's also a very moving special. It's actually very heartwarming, especially once you get to the last 10 minutes of the special. That's where most of the heartwarming and honestly very powerful stuff really starts to kick in. And it's what really makes this special, well, special, <laughs> to put it that way. And I did really like this adventure that Mrs. Claus and these elves have went on, as well as the reindeer, because, you know, as you saw in the plot synopsis, Santa Claus has a cold and he's not able to deliver presents to the children. But then the special explores something actually quite deep about how children aren't really believing in Santa Claus because, you know, when we're little, something that the special does explore well is that we have this mindset that Santa's out there. But then as we grow older, you know, there could be some people that are older that still actually believe in Santa Claus, but then there, there are those people that have grown up that don't really believe in Santa Claus anymore. So it's really uh, challenging you in a way and it's leaving it up to you on whether you actually believe that Santa Claus is real or not. It has such great writing, very clever writing with the dialogue, the characters. The stop motion, of course, is really, really great. For the most part, it is very well done. And of course, for this being a 1974 film, you know, for the time that the specials game made, it is actually quite impressive on a technical level and how it's made because you know, they don't have the technology that we do have now these days. So considering what they needed to use, it is quite remarkable. It is an achievement. That's what always impresses me about these Rankin Bass specials. And I did actually most of all really like the clash between Heat Miser and Snow Miser. I thought that was actually really great right there. It was very entertaining. We also did get to see Mother Nature here. It's honestly a pretty simple adventure but it's a very heartwarming adventure. Now, the only problems I do personally have with the special, it's just that sometimes the stop motion gets a little bit messy. It doesn't always move as fluid as most of the special does. Some of the audio sync really does feel out of place. Like when characters would say something, the mouth isn't always moving when the characters are saying something. And at times that is quite distracting to me. And I do think that just a couple of musical numbers in the special didn't really have a really great flow and I didn't really care too much for them. I did really like most of the musical numbers in this special. They were catchy, they were a lot of fun. They were just so nice, but just a couple of them I felt could have been better personally. Overall, you guys, I think A Year Without a Santa Claus is such a great, great special. This is a wonderful special. This special definitely gets me into the Christmas spirit. It has great characters, great stop motion, great writing, and it has wonderful music throughout. The Year Without a Santa Claus is definitely a Christmas special worth watching in my opinion. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which would be a B+. Plus. I want to thank the Random Eric for coming here to review The Year Without a Santa Claus. If you guys want to check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description down below. He is a very cool dude. And be sure to comment down below your thoughts on The Year Without a Santa Claus. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!